So now that you know a bit more about how to use what's in the left-hand toolbar over there, let's talk about the right-hand toolbar. The right-hand toolbar is going to allow you a lot of control over how you view your environment. So if you look at this environment, you have, from previous tutorials, built things all around here. Well, you can also manipulate the look of those things on the surfaces. So I'll save you some time. This first tool on the left-hand toolbar, Entity Info, don't worry about it. Second tool, Instructor. You should already know how to use that because you should have had it open from previous tutorials. The third tool, Components. Don't worry about it. Fourth tool, Materials. This is important because to apply materials to something, you can do it in one of two ways, like painting something red or painting something the look of bricks. There are two ways to do that. You can either come over to this right-hand toolbar and open the Materials tool, from there, or if you hadn't noticed already, the third tool down in your left-hand toolbar is materials, right up there. So you can open this window by clicking on that tool. Okay, so if you have an object in here that you'd like to paint a certain material, you can experiment with that like this. It's alphabetized under this magnifying glass against bricks, all of your materials. If you click on this home symbol, it looks like a little house. That's just the most recent materials you've used. But since you may be new to this, you're not going to see a bunch of stuff, but a few colors. Click on this magnifying glass against bricks. It's browse. You're going to browse your materials. Now it lists them alphabetically. Great. So if you want something like roofing, Something that you would put on a roof, if you're thinking very concretely, like things have to be the way they actually are in reality, you can go down to roofing. That's an option. You can feel free to look around here and explore the variety of things in here. So under roofing, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten options. Let's click on this ceramic tile here and come down here, zoom in on your roofing material. I'll get out of the way and just left click it and you've paint bucket filled that material. In theory, there it is. Great. So now half your roof has painted that. What about walls? What do you want to put on your walls? Well, let's look at some materials. Honestly, it doesn't matter what you choose as long as it's enjoyable for you to look at. You don't have to be locked into the laws of reality and physics as we know them because this entire environment is just an illusion. You don't have to use roofing material for roofs. You could paint a chair ceramic roofing tile if you like the lines and you like the curves on it why not it's your choice you're the designer i could come in here and paint a water wall if i want Ta -da! if you like the look of it that's all you need to know because we're not dealing with reality here this is an illusion it's like a magic trick so as long as you enjoy the look of it go with it 